holes in valence band in this lecture we are going to find holes in valence band of the intrinsic semiconductor what you are seeing in this diagram is the band structure of the semiconductor as you know in the semiconductor there is a valence band and conduction band and energy gap between these two band is denoted by eg fermi energy level ef is lies in between valence and conduction band it is exactly in the middle of energy gap we are considering your valence band as there are holes in the valence band the topmost energy level of valence band is denoted by ev and there are large number of energy levels which are below this ev we can say they are up to minus infinity some of these energy levels will be occupied by the charge carriers in this case by holes to find the number of charge carrier present you know that we take the product of density of states now these are the density of states in the valence band so i have denoted by e sub x v of e d e density of states in valence band into fermi dirac distribution function which is f h of e h denotes the holes probability of hole occupancy in the valence band this product gives charge carrier number of charge carrier or which density of states are occupied by holes but there are so many energy levels in the valence band so we have to take the integration of integration from minus infinity to ev from here to here there are many energy levels which are occupied by the charge carriers and that would be equals to number of holes in the valence band so p is equals to integration of integration from minus infinity to ev what we have to integrate is this product gv of e d e into f h of e this we have to integrate let us write d e at the end over here and this is our equation number 1 this gv of e is equals to 4 pi by h cube gv of e is density of states in valence band into 2 mh star raised to 3 by 2 into ev minus e raised to half so this is gv of e in this equation h is plan constant mh star is effective mass of electric effective mass of holes ev as i said is the top most energy level in valence band so let's name this equation as equation number 2 Then see, then let's see what is F H of E. F H of E. F H of E is hole occupancy, probability of hole occupancy. So probability of hole occupancy is nothing but probability of electron non-occupancy. That is one minus F E of E, which is equals to One minus one over one plus e raised to 
E minus E F upon K T. Let us simplify this by taking the LCM. In this case, LCM is one plus E raised to E minus E F upon K T. So let us multiply this one by the LCM. So one plus E raised to E minus E F upon K T minus this one. So this one cancels with this one, and you get E raised to E minus E F upon K T. Divided by one plus e raised to e minus e f upon k t. Now, this is nothing but f h of e. So divide this equation. Divide numerator and denominator. By e raised to e minus e f upon k t. So this quantity divided by this quantity, you get one. So one divided by then this one divided by this quantity, one upon e raised to e minus e f. By k t plus this quantity divided by this quantity will give you one. We can further simplify this by shifting this quantity up over here, and we can rewrite as one upon one plus e raised to now minus e f. E F minus E by K T. Instead of writing minus E plus E F, I am writing E raised to plus E F minus E by K T, and that is F H of E. We know that this difference in the energy E F minus E is very large compared to the thermal energy K T. as you can see in the diagram this is the fermi energy level over here and e can be anywhere in this band and so that difference ef minus e is very large compared to thermal energy and so this quantity would be very large so we can neglect here one and hence F H of E is equals to E raised to minus of E F minus E upon K T. I am neglecting this one and shifting this quantity above. So we got this. Further, I can rearrange this quantity as minus of E F minus E V. Plus EV. I am just subtracting and adding EV. Minus E by KT. Further, I can rewrite this as E is to minus of EF minus EV upon KT into E is to minus of EV minus E upon KT. Let's say this is equation three. Equation three is for F H of E, and equation T, equation two is for G V of E, and equation one is for number of holes in the balance band. So let us substitute the values of G V of E and F H of F H of E in equation one. So substitute 
equations 2 and 3 in equation 1 and rewrite it. Equation 1 is for number of holes from minus infinity to EV 4, 5 by this is equals to 4 pi by h cube into 2 mh star raised to 3 by 2 into ev minus e raised to half. This is the value of gv of e which is equation 1 over here that I have substituted into fh of e which is e raised to minus of ef minus ev by kt into e raised to minus of ev minus e by kt into d so this is what we got after substituting equation 2 and 3 in equation 1 now in this equation, as you can see, this quantity is constant. Similarly, this quantity is also constant because EF minus EV is constant. So let's take the constant quantity outside the integration and rewrite the equation as P is equals to 4 pi upon h cube 2 mh star raised to 3 by 2 into e raised to minus of ef minus ev by kt. Constant quantity outside the integration. Then integration minus infinity to ev. This quantity is remain and this quantity is remain. So this is EV minus E raised to half into E raised to minus of EV minus E by KT into D. So we have to solve this integration. But we already have a standard formula for this integration which is the same. That is standard formula. zero to infinity x raised to half e raised to a x dx and this is equals to root pi upon 2a root a solution of this equation so you can use this standard formula for here only the difference is here the integration is from 0 to infinity and here it is minus infinity to EV. In this case EV is the reference level. So it is one and the same. So in integration this x is equals to EV minus E and A is equals to 1 by KT. And so, solution is integration is equals to root pi by 2 into kt raised to 3 by 2. Let's say this is equation 5. And let's name this as equation 4. and rewrite equation 4 there. So equation 4 is p is equals to 4 pi by h cube 2 mh star raised to 3 by 2 ev minus e raised to half into not ev into e raised to minus of 
Pf minus Ev by Kp. Then into the solution of this integration is into root pi by 2 kt raised to 3 by 2. Let us simplify this. 2 pi mh star kt upon h square raised to 3 by 2 into e raised to minus of ef minus ev by kt. This is constant quantity and let's say that constant is equals to nv. So what we got is p equals to nv into e raised to minus of ef minus ev upon kt where this nv is equals to 2, 2 pi mh star kt upon s square raised to 3 by 2 and that is nothing but effective density of states in valence band. So this equation here gives us number of holes in valence band.